Hey guys, I'm at Lowe's. Um, it's like the only place in my town right now that really has plants because it's winter here. So there's obviously not a lot of plants growing around here. Um, I think I'm going to get one or two. So um, I'll show you guys what I'm looking at right now. I'm really surprised, but they actually have really good plants. Look how cute this one is. I had this plant and for some reason I killed it so fast. I don't really know what it is about that one, but I stay away from that now. I love the unique looking ones. Can't go wrong with a pothos plant. These babies grow like crazy. Actually, I might grab one. Mine in the bathroom got a fungus and died, so I could put that in there. We'll see. Oh, look how cool this one is. I love how tall it is. And this one, oh my goodness. Okay. The hard part about buying plants in the winter is that they aren't always in the best condition, so you gotta really look them over, like some brown spots. Just wanna try to pick the best one of the bunch. This one is cute. Let's see. There's nothing really catching my eye. There are tons more over there, so let's go look. Although this one is so cute. Some fiddly figs. No way. I've wanted one of these for a really long time. Oh, it's literally torn up. I hate that they don't take better care of these. Typical snake plant. What are their prices like here? 14 bucks, it's not that bad. Okay hey guys, I just left Lowe's. I did end up getting one plant, the um, pothos plant I showed you guys, um, but I will show you when I get home. Uh, now I'm at Goodwill. I haven't been to this Goodwill in like two weeks, so I thought I'd just check it out. I'm not very prepared. I didn't even bring my tripod because I wasn't really planning on coming and filming, but why not? Let's just make a whole little vlog out of this. Um, and yeah, I don't I don't really have anything I'm looking for, but sometimes those are the best Goodwill trips because you just are looking at everything and seeing like what what do I want? So, thought I'll just take you guys along with me and see what I find.
I'm gonna show you guys the things that I'm getting and then the things that I'm leaving behind and I'll tell you why I'm leaving them behind. Okay, this is the pile I'm leaving behind. This is what I'm getting, which I'll show you guys this after I buy it at home in like a little haul. Um, I picked this up because it's vintage and I really like the stripe across, super on trend. Um, but I'm leaving it behind because it's $6.99 and just not the best condition. I thought this was so cool, vintage windbreaker jacket. I love the graphics on it. I think that's really cool. Um, I'm leaving it behind because it doesn't have a high resale value and it's $8.99. Okay, this one's pretty cool. It is a men's vintage Nike sports jacket. Um, I do really like it. It's in great condition, but it's $12.99. So I'm leaving that behind because of the price. And then this is awesome. It is a vintage Reebok sweatsuit. Um, in really good condition, but again, I'm leaving it behind because... Focus, focus. It's $12.99. And it's extra large top, extra large top and 2XL bottoms, which when they mismatch in size like that, I don't think it'll be great. And that's it for the stuff that I'm leaving behind. Um, I'm getting all of this, a little sneak peek for later. And I found some really good stuff. I'm also getting some stuff that's over here but I will do a haul when I get home. Well guys, the last footage you saw was just me in the dressing room and I showed you briefly what I was getting and I said I was gonna do a haul. Um, well, I ended up finding tons more after I left the dressing room um, and ended up buying two giant bags full. So, stay tuned, I'll do a haul of everything and break down what I'm selling, what I'm keeping and what my husband's keeping. So stay tuned. We're back. Well, I'm back. Winky didn't go with me to the thrift store. From the thrift store, sheesh, can't speak. Wink, say hi, bub. Hey, look, look. <laughs> um, and I'm just gonna do a haul really quick, so. First thing I want to show is my plant. Let's see if we could get some better lighting. Okay, here we go. First, I want to show my plant. I dropped it outside, so I are in the pot that it was in broke, so I already put it in a little pot. Um, but I did end up getting this little pothos plant. I'm going to put it in the bathroom because the plant in there has a little fungus thing that plants get, which stinks, so I'm going to have to throw that one away. So, I may have to switch to different lighting if this is gonna act up. Guys, I can't even tell you how much I found. It's crazy. It was like, okay, backing it up. I'm all over the place. Um, I found a bunch of vintage stuff. So I live in a smaller town and um, I find vintage a lot. And if you guys didn't know vintage, resells really well um, and then some of it is for myself to keep and then some of it is for my husband to keep because he pretty much only wears vintage stuff so I'll let you know which is which first up I got two hats um, the first hat is this is from where was it 1984 this Purdue snapback hat I'm gonna sell that one on eBay. And then next, oh, and this one I paid, I think $1.99 for. Next is this vintage 90s Nike hat. 90s Nike is really popular and it's got the snaps here. Thought that was really cool. Um, and this one I paid $2.99 for. Some of this stuff you probably saw in the video, so it's not gonna be a surprise to you. Um, I got this vintage 
Hard Rock Cafe, Niagara Falls, little crew neck. It's super cool. The back is the best part by far. I think that is so cool. And uh, let's see if there's a year on it. You can always, there isn't a year, but you can always tell things are vintage by their tags. Um, first of all, it's got to be a tag like this, not printed on. Um, and then you can just tell because they look so much older, usually worn out. So that's how you can really tell they're vintage. Also, I didn't have a lot of luck in t-shirts or anything, mostly just sweatshirts. Oh, and I should say, both of the hats I'm selling and this hard rock sweatshirt my husband's going to keep. This one, either I might keep or I'm going to, hey, <laughs> I'm going to um, sell it. It was $6.99, this vintage champion crew neck, you know, the classic champion. Here is the vintage tag. The um, champion reverse weaves, it's just a type of um, champion sweatshirt. Those sell the best. Um, but just those classic crew necks are great too. Next up, this is the cutest thing ever. Okay, I'm gonna try to switch this lighting, hang on. Okay, I think this lighting is a lot better. This is the cutest thing ever. It's a little boy's Carhartt jacket. It's pretty old, super thick and warm if you didn't know. Carhartt is like the best for winter jackets because they do really well they hold up for a long time and um i'm gonna give this to my little nephew this will fit him and he has a black car heart so now he has a brown it's just so cute okay next up i got this little crew neck sweatshirt for me you can never have too many crew neck sweatshirts um it is vintage jerseys there's the tag I got this for $4.99 and it's just like a little sand colored um, this color is like super in right now little crew neck so I'm excited about that it'll be nice to have a little basic I got two home goods you saw both of them in the video um but i got this little i guess it would be a cutting board i'm not really sure just this gorgeous wood piece with all these wood detailing um and this i'll use either like up on my shelves as a display piece or as a charcuterie board i don't know there's so many options that's why i love having these unique ones like this because you can always use those next that you saw in the video is this super intricate woven basket i was really excited to find that um, i am going to be selling this on my poshmark because i always find really great woven stuff and I know other people would love to have the chance to have it as well and I paid $1.99 for that okay this is not home goods but I got this purse to put on my Poshmark it is a hundred percent genuine leather little gold detailing here um, and it is I'm pretty sure new without tags there's not a single stain single anything and then um the brand is j crew if i didn't say that already it's right here um and it does still have the like little cover that goes over this so i'm pretty sure that it's new without tags so that was a good find j crew especially like bags and shoes usually does pretty well for me I'm gonna bring this over here so I don't have to keep walking. Okay, next up I got this to sell. It is a Harley Davidson women's jacket. Harley Davidson can do well depending on the piece. Um, and it's just like a ruched jacket. It's uh, the material, 
that's kind of um, water resistant and wind resistant. But I liked it because it was unique. It has these patches down the side, on this side as well. And I paid $8.99 for that. Okay, almost done here. I got a bunch of stuff. I've got like four more things. Okay, this shirt I got for myself. Um, at first I thought it was a Harley Davidson tee. Um, it just says, born to be free. I think it'd be really cute cropped or maybe like doing some bleach on it, something like that. Um, and it's actually got a Bible verse on the back, which I thought was pretty cool. It's from 2013. So I was excited for that for myself and I paid $6.99 for that. Next up is, this is to sell. It is a vintage Hanes. Here's the vintage Hanes tag. Um, it's a crew neck sweatshirt and it's a black, but you know it's vintage. So it's got like a kind of like a faded black, which I love. And it just says ski Lake Tahoe. Um, there are a lot of people who Ski, obviously, it's the winter time, so I think that will do really well on eBay, and I paid $4.99 for that. Okay, two more things. This was so cool. I found this right as I was walking out. It is a vintage 1993 Little Rascals tee. Look at that graphic. It's so cool. And um, there are... Three ways, I know it's vintage, so a little tip if you didn't know. Um, vintage shirts right here have a, let me see if it'll focus really well on it. There you go. Have a single stitch, where um, as <coughs> regular shirts will have a stitch here and a stitch here. So when you're flipping through the racks, if you don't wanna look at every t-shirt, you can just look along the sleeve, the sleeves and see if you see any single stitch. So that's one way. Second way I already told you guys is the tag, which um, this one is a vintage Fruit of the Looms. And then the third way, a lot of graphic tees, vintage graphic tees, at the bottom here, there's a little writing, and it will say a date if you look closely. So, right there it says 1993. That's exactly how I knew how old it was. So really excited to find that. And I paid, oh geez, I didn't realize it was this cheap. I only paid $1.99 for that. And here's an example of a regular double stitch t-shirt, if you didn't know. See how there's a stitch and a stitch? That's how you know it is not before 2000. Okay, last item, um, again a vintage piece, and you saw me in, find it in the store. It was like the biggest score. My husband literally freaked out about it. It is a vintage polo sport jacket. Here's the tag, size large. It's like a little windbreaker type jacket. Here we go focus baby and the best part is it's got this really cool sideways graphic spell out logo the sleeve has it right here just really cool and then um, on the back as well there's a little polo sport tag so my husband's definitely gonna keep this he loves loves vintage and uh, that's it, my battery is about to die. It's flashing red at me, so it's perfect timing. Oh, I did pay up for this. This was $14.99, but if you know Vintage Polo Sport, then you know it's worth a lot, lot more than that. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. Plant shopping and thrifting it was kind of a random day not planned, but it ended up working out really well. I found some really good vintage stuff, and uh, yeah, comment down below if you want to see more content like this, or if you'd rather see some more um, home content, basically whatever you want. And don't forget to like and subscribe. 
Thanks. Bye, guys.